Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Afmat Electric Air Duster. Now, I have never used this before. I purchased this on sale. It retails for, I think, roughly 80 US dollars. Um, I did get it on sale. I think it was 40 or 30, somewhere around there. I'll include a link in the description. And the idea is really simple. Rather than using uh, traditional, you know, air cans for blowing dust that contain chemicals, here we've got uh, something that you will reuse through the lifespan of its internal battery. Uh, it is rechargeable, portable, uh, claims to have strong flow. We're going to see uh, it has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery inside. And I mean, that's why it's as expensive retails, at least at 80, as it is. Because outside of something like my good old uh, Giotti uh, air blower, uh, or Giotto, I mean, you want something that is going to keep things clean. I do not want to spray chemicals on any of my electronics. Uh, that's something I implore to all of you. It's just a terrible idea. So whether you're cleaning a keyboard, uh, a screen on a monitor, television, even a lens, whatever it is, I, would, I wouldn't use this on a camera sensor. I would stick to the Giotto or any other kind of manual, um, you know, air blower like that. You can see we've got some tools already coming out of box because this is designed to be versatile. A type A to micro USB cable right there. And quite frankly, this is the type of thing that if I would have sought out AFMAT, they probably would have sent it to me for free. But, you know, I don't have all the time in the world uh, to seek out companies to send me this kind of stuff. You know, when it falls in my lap and I actually think it's useful, I share it with all of you. Otherwise... It really comes down to me, obviously, if I buy something and think it's cool, sharing it with you. And hopefully this is going to be exactly what I expect, which is the end of buying any sort of canned air blowing system because they're a waste of money. They're terrible for the environment. And as I mentioned, they're actually not good for uh, the majority of products you're going to use them on. Now, I haven't looked at any directions, but I can already tell that this needs to go here. And we're going to see if it has a charge out of the box. Uh, they're telling you it's an air duster, 5 volt, uh, 2 amp, 40 watt for the power output, made in China. Let's see. Do I need to charge it? Looks like it needs to be charged unless I missed a power switch, which I don't think I did. So I do actually have a cable right here. And since, well, nope, can't do it. It's micro USB. So forget it. Uh, I've got type C everywhere. I do not have uh, micro USB anywhere, but I could... I think I could still hook this up. Let's see. Let's see. And it makes a lot of sense when you think about, you know, the cost for compressed air, uh, what people generally spend. It's exorbitant to say the least. So let me just see if I can plug this in. If it makes the run um, to the USB hub that I have over here. If it does, I'm going to tell you right now what I think performance is like. If it doesn't, then it just isn't happening today. And it'll be something I will revisit at a later date. But I think, I think we're gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna make it. Let's see. And I don't know what the charge time is, but you can see there's a little amber LED there. And that of course, this should function. Okay, so it looks like it's going to need some time to charge. Fan is making some strange noises. You can see the fan right there and I'll, I'll give it just a few seconds to see. But so we've got the brush attachment. Um, you know, in terms of capability, if this works out well, then it's obviously worth every penny in my opinion. And this is for everyone. This isn't limited to people you know, looking for something to clean electronics. This is, again, just a great replacement for, you know, canned air. Again, those things are just, they're cancer. They're terrible for the environment. They're expensive. Compressed air uh, is filled with chemicals. So it's like anyone who thinks that using compressed air on uh, television screens, uh, monitor screens, God forbid you actually, you know, blow that at a camera, you're kind of giving it the kiss of death. Uh, this is definitely a much better option if it works. I don't know. What I got here from Amazon may be a turd right out of the box, but we'll see. We'll see if Af 
AFMAT is an ASMAT or not. Um, but I'm giving it a little